See me, I never pay times. Y'all silly giving these men y'all money. Man, I bet you they don't get none of mine. It wasn't even money either. It was just corn and wine and oil. And it only went to the tribe of Levi. The Most High don't need our money. Man, these brothers ain't even Levitical priests. These brothers ain't nothing but some more wolves and sheep clothing. Giving them y'all money, y'all retarded. These brothers ain't nothing but some old crypto dollars. And I ain't talking West Indies when I say they all about them Benjamins, baby. baby. Huh? baby. <laughs> well, let's get into some doctrine then. We live. Now ain't nobody trying to talk to you. Talk to you. And there's nothing you don't really wanna do. Wanna do. If it ain't given earnestly, it don't count anyway. Then gonna keep it, baby. That's cool. That's cool. The most high said it's all about the cheerful give. Second Corinthians 9. Spin that bad baby to verse 7 and receive it into your mind. You said we wasn't doing it with money back then. But that theory is so improper. Could do the run of me 1425. Been blue that smooth out the water. It ain't nothing wrong with us having a pot so that the church can move the money. And if you were against these assemblies, this ain't me but directed to you. Couldn't care nothing about no money, I blow it. Anybody need it and I got it, I'ma throw it. Never was mine, got Caesar face on it. Roof on my head, warm eggs in the morning. Dinner every night, clothes on my back. Matthew 6 and 33, go read that. Malachi 3 and 10, go heat that. Hebrew 7, they give you the feedback. Ain't nobody riding around in no Bentleys. Nobody flying around in no jets. You treat the elders like they living like T.D. Jakes, but you the one that's operating in the flesh. flesh. You see, the body done paid my rent before. They came together and they saved my roof. My roof. You see, do it to find a way. way. But to say is a finding excuse. They be talking about corn and wine, corn and wine. The law said we was only giving corn and wine. Yeah. Corn and wine, corn and wine. It wasn't never no money, just corn and wine, corn and wine. Corn and wine. Wine. But you ain't even giving up no corn and wine And when you fall on hard time and everything behind I wanna see you pay it off with some corn and wine Now I'm gonna fall on my neck, my neck. And I am gonna expect, expect Everybody to give me a part of this here Or I'ma strip them of all my respect But when the money was going up in the pot I sat back and I left it up to the next And then I turned around and fell on these hard times My financial life is a mess Yes, I'm vexed I'm wrecked. Father, can you help me? Can I get blessed? But the father ain't trying to leap up his head. Fat meat greasy, I'm reaping what I said. Cause I won't break bread. Cause I don't even know. Way before Moses, Jacob took an oath. And way before Jacob, Abraham sold. 10% to Melchizedek, I'm like, whoa. What about the poor widow with two mites? Mark chapter 12, it was spoken by Christ. Must have been right. He made it a parable. Proof he supported it. Brother, be careful. Next time you find your behind in the financial bind, we gon' slide by with some corn and some wine, no sweat. Go give that to your debt, and I bet ya He gon' say you gotta do better About the set to keep me in my house Not to hoard it, but to have it to dish out Why you think he even provided the increase So you can help feed the need of charity What you talking about, some corn and wine Corn and wine The law said we was only giving Corn and wine Corn and wine Corn and wine It wasn't never no money, just Corn and wine Corn and wine but you ain't even giving up no corn and wine And when you fall on hard time and everything behind I wanna see you pay it off with some corn and wine uh, my. Okay, so answer me this. How is it that all these different tribes collect the tithes now? I thought that was only for the priests of Israel. Levi is the priest, right? Revelation 1 and 5 through 6. And from Christ Yahshua, who is the faithful witness, and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loved us, and washed us from our sins in his own blood. 6. And has made us kings and priests, unto the Most High his Father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever, Ramah. Wow, okay, so Yeshua made us kings and priests. Or the most high. And another thing, I heard you say that before Moses, my forefather Jacob took an oath to tie. Brother, what scripture is that? Genesis 28 and 20 through 22. And Jacob vowed the vow, saying, If the most high will be with me and will keep me in this way that I go, and will give me bread to eat and raiment to put on, 21, so that I come again to my father's house in peace, then shall thy power be my power. 22, when this stone which I have set for a pillar shall be the most high, a highest house, and of all that thou shalt give me, I will surely give the tenth unto thee. Con the tenth, the tithe. So let me get this straight. So before our forefather Jacob took the oath, and we are his children, then we inherit that oath to tithe, right? Before Moses was even thought of. But wait, you said even before Jacob even took that oath to tithe, that his grandfather Abraham gave Shem tenths of all? Hebrews 7 and 1 through 2. For Melchizedek, king of Salem, priest of the Most High God, who met Abraham returning from the slaughter of the kings, and blessed him. Two, to whom Abraham gave a 10th 
part of all. Okay, okay, okay. So the tithe is deeply embedded in our history. And the reason we tithe is because the Father said, keep me in my house, right? So we could do the work. Bring them in from out of the cold. Give them this truth. Have support for feed them. Help them. Take care of those in need, right? Malachi 3 and 10. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in my house. Improve me thou herewith, say of the most high of all power. If I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, that there should not be room enough to receive it. Right, right. Wow. He said he will open up the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing. The most high got flow. He was rapping. Wait, he said a blessing so big, we won't have room to receive it. All praises and you said Christ was down with it too? It was still going strong in your shyest time? You said he made a parable about it. Mark 12 and 41 through 44. And Yasha sat over against the treasury and beheld how people cast money into the treasury and many that were rich cast in much. 42 when there came a certain poor widow and she threw in two mites. That's two pennies, right? Con which maketh the farthing. 43 and he called unto him his disciples and saith unto them, Verily I say unto you that this poor widow has cast more than all they which have cast into the treasury. 44, for all they did cast into their abundance, but she of her want did cast in all that she had, even all her living. Uh, her whole life savings. Okay, one more thing. You said the Most High said it's all about the cheerful gift. Can you edify me some more on that? I 2 Corinthians 9 and 7. Every man according to his purpose in his heart. So let him give, not grudgingly, or of a necessity. For the Most High loveth the cheerful giver. Give, 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 give.